Reporting from the Blueprint News Network, this is Emma Fudaz in Downers Grove. Every athlete knows what it's like to face hardship, but how do you move on and not let it affect the rest of your career in that sport? Today we talked to junior Sophia McNerney and DGS graduate Brenna Cohoon about how they didn't let one disappointment ruin their experience running cross country. On the morning of the 2019 girls cross country sectional meet, then senior Brenna Cohoon woke excited to run, but not excited about the conditions of the race. I did know that it wouldn't be a super fast race um, and that I just needed to keep my composure despite the weather. The gun went off and about a quarter mile into the three mile race, someone from another school stepped on the back of Cohoon's shoe and it started to come off. You know, I was trying to figure out because this had never happened to me before. I was trying to figure out if I could like get my foot back in the spike. It just wasn't happening. So at that point, um, I just kind of kicked off the spike and um, continued racing. <laughs> you know, it was something that kind of freaked me out at first. And I was a lot farther back in the race than I had originally anticipated just because I was kind of panicking. But I got up to the position that I wanted to be in. One week later, Kohun was preparing for a state meet where she was hoping to finish in the top five runners. At about the same point as her previous race, disaster struck again as someone clipped the back of her spike and it came off. I remember in the moment, I was like, is this really happening again? Like, it just, it didn't feel real. You know, state, it was a challenging race for us as a team in general. Uh, so the fact that I didn't have my best race individually either, um, that was something that really bothered me because I think when I lost my spike at sectionals, it didn't make a huge difference. Now, well over a year later, Kohun is able to reflect on the experience and see the positives as well as the negatives. It was something that in the moment I was really upset about, but looking back on it, I think it's something that, you know, it's unfortunate that it happened, but you can't have a perfect race every time you go out there. And the fact that, you know, we were still able to fight through and, and still have a, a pretty good day as a team, um, that was you know, the ultimate goal, so. One year later, Sophia McNerney was getting ready to run at sectionals. She had no idea that history would be repeated and she too would lose her spike during the race. Um, so the course we were running on had some like tight corners. So I was running with another competitor and we both turned the corner kind of sharp. So we ran into each other um, and she ended up stepping on the back of my heel and I fell out of my shoe. McNerney was hoping to finish pretty high up in the race, but losing her spike heavily affected her times due to the uneven footing of the course. McNerney describes how she was able to move on and forgive herself after the disappointment of the race. I was upset. I would say um, that losing my shoe affected me so much because I didn't really like realize I didn't even think to plan for it. Um, but I was really glad in a way to like have that experience at like a sectional race, just losing my shoe and kind of figuring out what to do. Mm -hmm. um, if it does happen again in like a state meet or a national race. Um, but yeah, I was still a little bummed that I didn't get to help the team as much. But I think we all kind of um, bonded over it and that it does just happen and We've got to get through it. I mean, you can't sit down in a race and put the shoe back on, so you just got to keep moving forward. Like Kohun and McNerney said, you can't give up on your sport just because you had a bad race, meet, or match. You have to continue the uphill climb. This has been Emma Fudaz reporting from the Blueprint News Network in Downers Grove. See you next time.